Greetings, my fellow YouTubers and everyone out there that's uh, watching. I'm Dol, aka the Big D of Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Back again with an anniversary review. Now, as I mentioned in my quickie announcement, I was watching this movie and I, well, I had forgotten that it was self turning 35 today. I thought it was late, later next week, but I was wrong. But anyway, my review is on The Karate Kid. Released on this day in 1984 by Columbia. Please don't sue, okay? Anyway, I I kind of sort of remember seeing this as a kid, but it's been a long time, and I just never have been taking the time to rewatch this again. But now, of course, I have, and well, it's brought back some pretty good memories, actually. The film stars Ralph Macchio. As Daniel, he and his mom are driving all the way from New Jersey to their new home in California. And well, Daniel actually has a run with some of the local bullies, but he really takes a beating sometimes. Once he's met one of the girls he has met, Haley, played by Elizabeth Shue in one of her early roles before she even became an even bigger star in the original Adventures in Babysitting a few years later. But soon, Daniel manages to look up to a Japanese handyman who works at in the apartment for the apartments that he and his mom are seeing in, at. And his name is Mr. Miyagi, played by Pat Morita, who was best known for playing Al on TV's Happy Days first few seasons before he left. But anyway, I'm going to have to say I really loved Mr. Miyagi. He was one of my favorite characters, and, well, this movie wouldn't have been, well, very popular if it hadn't been for him, or even for Machio. I have to say, he... I kind of have trouble pronouncing that dude's last name. Sorry about that. But I give both these great guys credit for it. For, for this great movie. It was directed by John G. Avildsen, who directed Rocky a few years before this. And, well, they wanted to do a movie that was sort of like Rocky, except it involved martial arts. Well, we got it in 1984, and... The movie actually did pretty well, but anyway, let me get back to the story. I won't give too many spoilers, though, since this is my first time in seeing it in a long time. I gotta say, once Daniel gets is taken under Mr. Miyagi's wing, believe me, the fun begins. Uh, well, sorry, because Miyagi, well, well, observes seeing Daniel doing karate. But he really wants to try to get revenge on these dudes who do their cry at the Cobra Kai uh, dojo. Which, of course, this actually was the inspiration for the, the current hit series Cobra Kai. Which, of course, you can see on YouTube. No, never watched it. But I've heard of it, though. Anyway. Soon, when... Daniel takes an even worse being, but Miyagi saves the day after, after we'd hoped, I had hoped, Daniel, I had thought Daniel would have escaped those bullies easily, but he gets caught at the last minute because after he manages to soak one down in a, a, re, a boys room stall, well, a real chase begins. But anyway, Miyagi manages to do the moves on him. And, well, he decides to teach Daniel some real kung fu in a more compassionate way. By, well, well, using, like, these, uh, well, well, making him pop, wax on, wax off the car, on uh, his, the car, and paint the fence up, up, and down, up and down, and, and, uh, and paint the house side by side. Oh yeah, and kind of like uses these things that 
it's not sandpaper, but it's these things you use to use on wood to scrape. Yeah, or scrub or something like that. But yeah, those are kind of the inspirations on do, on how to do some the moves and stuff. And that's what Daniel does when he goes into a tournament against the Cobra Kai boys. And believe me, let me tell you, it's fun. Anyway, I do love the movie even more than what I used to since I didn't get to watch it a whole lot. But, anyway, I must admit, The Karate Kid is definitely good. Like I said, it's got great characters. Like I said, Pat Maria is great as Mr. Miyagi. Ralph Macchio as Daniel, Elizabeth Shue, Hallie. The rest of the cast is great. I like the story. The music's real good. Everything in this is just so good. The Cry Kid eventually became a big hit in 1984. It would go on to have a couple of follow-ups and one, how should I say, semi-sequel, which I probably might get controversy I'm going to be reviewing that one later on this September, and that'll be 1994's The Next Cry Kid, which that's the one I've seen several times, though, only because I, well, I liked Hilary Swank in one of her early performances, but like I said, that's for that's not till later on when I review that. Now, I will review the other two movies soon when I watch them. I know they're airing the second one, but I just saw I put that on hold for now, but I will review it another time, I promise. There would also be games and stuff, including one for the NES, which of course is published by the infamous LJN and was developed by Atlas. Game's okay, but its first part takes place during the last bit of the original first, and and then the rest of the game would take place in during the events of part two. Anyway, but I'll talk about that if I want to, but I don't know. There would also be a short-lived animated series that NBC aired in 1989 that would be 30 years ago after Part 3 was released. In which that show's pretty underrated. You can actually see the Cry Kid animated series on Prime. I've only relived the first episode. I might do it again and watch the rest. You never can tell. Except it has a different storyline. The voice act is, yeah, okay, but not... Quite sound as good as Machio and Maria, thank you very much. But the Cry Kid definitely proves to have some of the coolest moments ever. I've come to like it even more than what I did. But anyway, what did you think of the Cry Kid? Please feel free to let me know. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. There was also a remake from 2010. Foolish of me to forget that. But again, I'll talk about that some other time. Maybe next year, because it will be turning 10 next year. With Jane Smith and Jackie Chan. Yeah. Okay, again, tell me what you thought about the original Cry Kid in the comment section. Like and subscribe. And I want to thank you for watching. To join me again next time. Maybe in a few minutes or what have you. When I review the Muppet movie. Which is turning 40 today. So, I'm the Big D saying see ya.